It's been 23 years since Warhol's death, yet he's still everywhere. As a household name, not many can say they haven't seen his iconic image of Marilyn Monroe or the stunning simplicity of the Campbell Soup cans. This program is not only a celebration of Warhol's life, but a look into his effect on society. Andy Warhol was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in 1928. He started out as a commercial artist once he graduated from Carnegie Mellon University. As a leader of the pop art movement, he created the factory, his art studio where he produced his silkscreen prints. Here he surrounded himself with artists, musicians, writers, and little known celebrities. Here's my factory. I feel so free here. This is where I can produce all the art I ever want to with all my helpers because that's what I enjoy doing and it's my passion. The 60s were the height of his career. He worked with The Velvet Underground, an eccentric rock group that performed at his multimedia show Exploding Plastic Inevitable. Just as their songs captured the essence of the 60s, so did Warhol's art. Andy, do you feel that the public has insulted your art? Uh, no. Why not? Uh, well, I hadn't thought about it. It doesn't bother you at all then? Uh, no. Well, do you think that they've shown a lack of appreciation for what pop art means? Uh, no. Andy, do you think that pop art has sort of reached the point where it's becoming repetitious now? Uh, yes. Do you think it should break away from being pop art? Uh, no. Are you just going to carry on? Uh, yes. An overwhelming wave of consumerism has caused a lack of identity, which can only be fixed through the regained individuality and the ability to think for ourselves. Repetition was common in Warhol's art. He used it to represent the way people's lives were becoming machine-made copies. Society became a uniform mass as consumerism caused people to lose their individuality. In 32 soup cans, Warhol used color contrast and thick lines to draw the viewer's eye towards the piece. The mechanical placement gives it a mass-produced look, emphasizing society's obsession with consumerism. I use the soup cans as my art to show how an everyday object can be art. Most people don't view it as something that can be nice, but I really think it can. Anything can be considered as art. And I really think a soup can is something ordinary and plain, something that anyone can drink can be something spectacular and amazing. Andy, a Canadian government spokesman said that your art could not be described as original sculpture. Would you agree with that? Uh, yes. Why do you agree? Well, because it's not original. You have just been copied, a common uh, item. Yes. Warhol used the most mundane things and made them art. From a simple soup can, he created 32 pieces of art that were to be cherished forever. By using boring images that people saw every day, Warhol used commercial art to demonstrate society's dependence on consumerism. Warhol used newspaper photos in his Death and Disaster series to illustrate the loss of empathy within society. When these images are thrown at society over and over again, they become meaningless. I repeated the image in Green Car Crash to show how the media is completely influencing society. The media is controlling us because there's lots of images being thrown at people constantly and there's just no way for us to escape it. We just keep on seeing it over and over again. And when you see a gruesome image over and over again, it just doesn't happen. Just where I'm going. Warhol also expressed the need for reform among society. Warhol used his art to address the robotic nature that society was taking on. He showed how the media had changed people and made them the same. No one thought for himself or herself anymore. Society grew into an unidentifiable mass, bringing about a feeling of isolation and loneliness among the individual. As George Patton once said, if everyone is thinking alike, then someone isn't thinking. Warhol's work demonstrates how consumerism meshes all of society into one unidentifiable mass, which can only be repaired through the reassessment of the people's views towards the images they are presented with by the media.
I repeated the images in green car cache to show how the meat. <laughs> no, stop! This is my factory. Here I make lots of paints and. How dare you fall pit! Lauren, it's time for school.